Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Today we're going to continue setting up the high tech science pack production. We've got uh, a bot based build here making the speed module ones that we're going to need. Uh, we also need blue circuits, copper cables, and batteries. So uh, we'll go and get that set up now. Uh, first of all, I need to remember where I left my train. Okay, it's over there. So I'm going to send my train over to Blue Science to wait for me. And I think we'll do the high tech science here next to that. Um, because that will not require huge amounts of landfill to set up. And um, it won't cover up any of these mines that I have over here. So let's go set it up over there. Uh, we'll go over in the plane. Uh, and just a little warning, I mentioned yesterday I had an itchy throat. Uh, I still do today. So I may need to turn my head and cough once in a while. So I apologize in advance for that, but uh, not something that I can prevent at the moment. I think I've got some, some allergies affecting me. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Don't want that to affect my trip in the next couple of weeks. All right, so we're just going to clear trees and rocks as we usually do. All right, so down here, I only need some a couple of short sections. Whoops, and I screwed it up. All right, let's try that again. There's one, and there's two. And I'm out of rail. And I've got stations already, okay. those trees and then I'll put one two over here and looks like this is precisely where <laughs> this bit of water is precisely where I want the track to go so I'll probably need some landfill there too uh, but let's see if we can lay it out maybe I'll get lucky and it'll be just out of range. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. We're good. So we can bring the train over here and grab some landfill out of it and then get rid of that. All right, I'm gonna set this to trees and rocks only so I don't pick up anything that I wanna stay. Okay, now we're done. <clears throat> I'll leave the rest of the trees there because they look nice. Get rid of those. And I think that's about it. And this is exciting because this is pretty much the last thing that we need before we can do some full-scale research. All right, so let's go grab the train and bring that over here. So we have our supplies close by. All right. Just gonna turn right. And turn right again. And then I'll turn left up here. And we'll park it there for now. Okay, let's grab a little bit of landfill. I don't think I need too much. Make that bigger. OK, 
Okay, that was easy. And I've got a bunch of rock and wood. Oh, I guess I can... Yeah, I can throw some of that in there. Okay, so we're going to need to bring in blue circuits, modules, iron plate, copper plate, and sulfuric acid. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a challenging layout. Now, the <clears throat> iron plate and copper plate are not going to be consumed very rapidly. We're looking at 274 per minute. So one train load, uh, which is 16,000, will last for, what, like an hour? We'll use about 1,000 in a minute. Oh, okay. No, in about four minutes. Yeah, so yeah, so one train will last an hour. So I think we can do a combined station for iron and copper plates. So let's set that up. Uh, and that'll save us some room, and that'll be kind of a first for us here, when it comes to plates at least. Okay. Yeah, so we'll grab this station, um, except I'm not going to get the mini loaders this time. I'll just grab up to the silos. And that can go right there. And I think we need another one of those. Actually, we're going to need several of these. Okay. So this one can be copper plate. And this one will be iron plate, let's say. Okay, so we're already bringing iron, and then we also want 64,000 copper. Is it 32,000? <coughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, so this will last uh, a couple of hours on a single load. All right, so then on the outputs, we're going to need the filter mini loaders, and we're going to need 16 of those. So 5, 10, 15, and 16. These things are terribly expensive, um, but sometimes that's what you need to do. And honestly, this probably doesn't even need to be on blue belts. But I'm already making these things, so let's just do, we'll do all blue. Okay. Um, and now that I think about it, let's separate these a bit. We'll do them like this. That'll give us more room to maneuver the belts because we're going to need to pull iron and copper belts out of each one and then get them get them arranged properly right so we'll do the top one is iron and the bottom one is copper of which we don't have any yet so we'll copy that there we'll copy that there and then I'll copy that whole thing down to the other ones Okay, so that's going to be, yeah, and we'll have plenty of room to hold all that. Okay, so on the, what should we do first? How much, oh, you know what? <laughs> that's just what we need for batteries. I didn't consider the copper that we're going to need for the copper wire, uh, and that's going to use... 5,385 per minute, which means that we'll use up, well, it'll still be several minutes to use up a full train of copper. So it'll be fine like this.
Okay. Yeah, and I need to calculate how we're going to do this. All right, so let's assume actually 12 beacons on these. This is going to be so fast. It might be too fast. Um, because if we're doing 10,700 per minute, yeah, I always try to use my number pad and it doesn't work with this thing. Okay, divided by 60, that's 170, let's say 179 per second. If we divide that by four, yeah, that's more than a blue belt each for each one of these things. That's going to be too fast. Really what I'd rather do is I would rather just set this up to go one to one. So let's see, let's see what we would need. Like if we do eight modules on each, what if we did, what if we did four beacons on each? Yeah, four beacons on each, then we have like a one to one correspondence between these machines and these machines. And I think that'll work out better. Okay, and then in terms of copper for that, uh, let me get my calculator again, 3,827 per minute divided by 60. Uh, so we're gonna need like two blue belts of copper and then one blue belt of iron should be enough. Okay, so the copper we're going to compress down to two belts and the iron to a single belt. All right, so let's have these go up. Um, how do I want to do this? I'm going to need to use undergrounds for sure. <clears throat> All right, well, let's, we'll bring out the copper a bit and then we'll join them up here. All right, and then all the iron I'll just bring out here and then we'll get those all joined up out that way. And I think this will give us enough room to run all of our copper belts together. Right, and it's kind of silly using blue belts on everything and then compressing it down to two blue belts, but... Um, but it's just simpler to do it this way rather than dealing with blue belts and red belts. I'll just do everything with blue belts. Okay, uh, that worked out just about perfectly. Got just enough room for it. Okay. So that's eight. And then we're gonna bring that down to four. Yeah, and actually I can move this closer, I think. No, I can't, I do need that extra space. Otherwise, this one is gonna try to dump onto that belt. Whoops. There, and then one more. Okay, so now we got eight to two. <coughs> Pardon me. So that's an eight to two balancer, and then we're gonna come up here, and let's just go ahead and we'll start setting this up up here. Well, you know, I'll put the, I'll put my 11, sheen, 11 machines, I'll put them in a column because uh, I'm going to need more room for another eight belts of iron coming up here. So I'll just put them in a column starting 
right about here, let's say. All right, so that's going to be one. All right, so let's copy that. So that's one, two. Oh, I should really put the modules in first. Let's put all the modules in first. As a matter of fact, let's just let's just completely build one up and then we'll copy it. I think that's probably the more efficient way to do things. Okay, and then we can put the we can put the copper wires over here. And then I'll just use loaders in between those, like that. So that way I don't have to worry about inserters and stuff. That'll give me 40 per second, which should be more than fast enough. Yeah, we only need 17 a second. So this will be this will be plenty fast, right? And then that's going to get modules as well. So that'll handle the copper and then we'll need two more belts, one for batteries, one for blue circuits and one for speed modules. All right? So we could do Let's see. Well, we could do them like this. No, I don't have a lot of room for that, do I? <coughs> okay, we could do one like that. Oops, let's move that over. No, I can't. Okay. Let me just copy that. We can do another one there. All right, so that's one ingredient that's... No, this I actually want to be my output. Yeah, and then the other belt of ingredients we can have coming in like that. Okay, and then we'll put a light right there. All right, and then over here, we're going to have our two blue belts of copper, which will eventually reduce to one. And how much are we going to need coming in here? Six per second, which I think we can easily handle with a stack inserter. Okay, so let's copy this 11 times. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll put the 11th one above that because I don't want to get too close. I need to put a station there. Okay. So let's feed in our copper. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, yeah, I'll wait until after the sixth one, and then we'll merge this over. Okay. 
All right, so far so good. We'll put in some power. Okay, we'll do it this way. Really? Oh, that's a bummer. I'm gonna have to wanna have one in each of these. I think. Oh. Just a little bit too short. Okay, I know what we can do. We'll move the light, and then I can put this right in the middle. Like that. Actually, I don't need to move the light. Okay. Okay. That looks good. All right, so far so good. Okay, now let's get the iron sorted. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're gonna have to go back for belts very soon. Like right now. I should probably stop for modules too on the way back up. Oh, come on. I still can't get I still can't get a thousand belts. Where are you stopped? No lubricant. What? What in bloody heck? Let's go take a look down here. Why am I so starved? For lubricant. That's turned off. Oh, that's because this stupid petroleum is getting in the way. Okay, well. Um, we can sort of fix that. That'll give us more storage capacity for petroleum. Yeah, I'll hang on to these for now. But at least that'll allow all this to get moving again. I might just need to set up a train here in the main base and bring in lubricant from outside. Yeah, because I just, I don't really have anything to do with all the petroleum. I could turn it into rocket fuel too, I guess. All right. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping to pick up a big stack of blue belts while I was here. But um, we're probably going to have to come back again very soon. It's just pathetic. 
And that's after I turned off the science, so I'm not using... What? Oh, for the robots? <sighs> All right. Let's just... We'll just put the brakes on robot production for a little while. I need belts. Then again, um, maybe I should just use red belts. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't going to. Because I clearly can't handle making as many blue belts as I need to use them exclusively. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh let's use let's use some red belts over here. This'll be fine. Um two hundred and seventy eight per minute is divided by sixty. That's what, twenty seven, that's that's like four or five per second. Um so yeah, we can do we can do all this with red belts. Let's just do that. Red belts don't need any lubricant. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Okay. Now I don't have a whole lot of these, but uh, this will be enough for now. Uh, okay. One. Oh, I see what I did. There we go. Okay. One belt of iron. There it is. All right, so now we need to bring in sulfuric acid for batteries. Okay, and I think somewhere else I had a combined station with fluid. And other items, was it here? No, uh, maybe it was purple science. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> All right, so let's copy this. And I'm going to remove that. Oh, and I should remove this too. I don't want it to bring whatever it was bringing over there. was lubricant, I believe. Precisely the thing we're short of back in the main base. Okay, so this is going to be for either blue circuits or speed modules. Let's do the blue circuits. All right, so where else are we bringing in blue circuits? Is it here? No. Um, the module area, yes, but that's being done by robots. But that's okay. We can we can copy that. Uh, oh, okay. Had to get out of map view. All right, so we get rid of that, and the rest of it can stay the way that it is. OK. 
Okay, and this can all be managed with red stuff. <clears throat> I think I have a downgrader. Yeah, blue to red. There we go. All right, and then this one we want to bring in sulfuric acid. Um, and I don't think I'm using that anywhere else at the moment. Oh, and it looks like I'm out of lubricant outside the main base too, actually. All right, so this will be sulfuric, 100,000. Uh, let's make that a negative number, minus. Okay, let's try again. Oh, it is minus. It doesn't seem to be working right. Minus 100, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess the minus just disappears. All right, and hopefully... Yeah, see, this is full, so hopefully once we get rid of some of the acid... What are we missing here? I've got a pretty good amount of lubricant. Oh, I have no oil. I have no crude oil. Hmm. Okay. Um, how are we doing down here? All right, I guess we're using it as fast as we can. Is that the only one that I have? I think that's the only oil well that I have, so I'll need to put another one on the network. I can put it here probably, and just use, get oil from both of these. Or I'll just put a pickup station on this side. And we'll call that oil two. Yeah, I guess that's the only oil that I've got. So yeah, that's, uh, that's something of a problem. Okay, um, all right, so the batteries, I think I wanted those to be surrounded by 12 beacons also, yes. Okay, and I need three of those, so maybe I can put those in here. Let's try that out. All right, so this is going to be making batteries. We'll throw in our speed. And then we just need iron, copper, and the acid. All right, so maybe we can... Maybe we can do that for the iron and copper. Let's see. Yeah, it's only two per second each, so we can do, we can share a red belt for the iron and copper, and then we can have the acid coming in thusly. And then the output we can bring up to the top. There. And then we'll throw in a light right there. Okay, so we need three of these only. Let's not 
Not too hard to put together. Okay, and then there we can just terminate that belt. Ugh, that belt. All right, and then this part is going to come out over on this side, and that'll be our output. Okay. Um, Okay. I'll put in a pump on each side just so it pulls from both. All right, that should be acid. Okay, so that should be all that we need to make batteries. Let's power it up and find out how we did. Okay, looks pretty nice. All right, and then this needs, we got the cables, we got batteries, and then we need, yeah, actually we can combine, we can combine the belt of batteries and speed modules. Because those are used one each and the blue circuits are three. So if we're gonna give one a dedicated belt, we'll give it to the blue circuits. Oops, and these can be, these can both be red belts. Like that. Okay, let's just watch and make sure that this works. Yeah, it looks good so far. Okay, awesome. So, uh, in the next episode, let me put this light back where it initially belonged. So in the next episode, we'll finish this up and uh, we'll start loading stuff onto trains, getting the science moving, and then the rest of the series we'll spend just building up the rest of the infrastructure that we need to keep this running nonstop. Um, which is gonna mean more oil, more mines. It'll probably mean more green circuit production, maybe more red, probably more blue. You know, we'll, we'll see what the bottlenecks are and address them as they come up. It's kind of the game plan here. So thanks a lot for watching. See you next time, bye-bye.